Me today, me today, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anna Diva, and I am black. Welcome to my home. <laughs> so, um, I just want you guys to acknowledge how really beautiful and stunningly wow I look. I mean, peep the highlight, big purr. I didn't use setting spray this time because I just felt like I'm literally about to wipe it off after I record this video. <laughs> I just need to film some content today, so that's why the girl is beat to the gods and yeah i love my install this is a weave by the way it looks really nice um but i need to like get a wax stick you know i didn't even like do my edges or anything because it's really giving pocahontas it is giving what way just my real hair it grew <laughs> so without further ado let's run, jump right into the video so the reason why i wanted to make this video is because you guys have always been commenting on my things thing is now i feel like i have this family with my followers or not even i would say family because i feel like my sister and i have this kind of same relationship like the way we do our things is different and we always be like mm -mm. so that's how you do your eyelashes and that's how you do your eyebrows hmm maybe i should try that because i do it like this and i do it like that so my sister died like yesterday i don't know if you guys saw her story she posted like lol come on yesterday by this time this video is out child mm-hmm so she had posted like basically a unblended version of her makeup and she had like some maroon red stuff here and I thought it was like blush because I don't know if you guys saw but people are now applying like concealer, contour and then blush and everything and they just blend it out all at once instead of piling it on top of each other like I do now. So I was like yo maybe I should try this routine because her face looked scrum dilly yum dum a purr purr. She really ate. Anyway, so I've been waxing myself at home for a year now, officially a year. I started because I wanted to save money. If I was living in Namibia, I would probably not be waxing myself from home because it's affordable. And I was able to have like my own wax lady, Anna. I will try and like, comment her number in the description box. If you live in Namibia, you can text her if you're in Windhoek. She's very good. Like she's actually the reason why I was like, girl, I could do this from home. Because the thing is with her, she explains everything that she does to your body. She gives you a very good advice of how to take care of your skin according to your skin type. Because I also thought that I have sensitive skin and she would use different wax on my skin than she would use on her regular clients. Um, she would also be very open and transparent and not expect me to come back every four weeks just to get the coin. You know, she'd be like, no, now we're at the stage where you can come back every six to eight weeks. You know, you don't have to come back that often. Um, just don't forget to exfoliate. Don't forget to moisturize. Um, before I come, you know, take a shower, da, 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 da. She was even able to come to my house. Um, but then at some point, I would just go to her because it was faster that way. And because she was working also... So I wasn't working at the time and I was like, mm, might as well just go right to you when you knock off because then I don't have to wait for you to knock off and then drive to my place. I, I wanted her to be comfortable so I would be like, rather knock off and go home and I can come to your place and then you're already home after you're done with me and you can just clean up and then be done. So anyways, let's get into the video. I'm sure you guys are tired of my monologue. And this is the, the wax set at home that I have. Okay, so this is the... Regalico Just Home um, Wax Warmer Kit. So it's a safety wax warmer and professional hard wax. And it's excellent for hair results in the leg, face, even hand hairs. The same as the beauty salon and this is very true. So it says here just use about 10 to 30 minutes for the wax beads to melt and you can enjoy waxing uh, with the most advanced heating technology, continuously heating and high safety. So some features about the box that I can say is that it has a voltage of 110 to 240 and a watt of 50. So these are, these numbers are really important. So if you ever buy a wax or are looking for a wax, try to look at these numbers here, right? These two, because the watts um, tell you how much electricity goes through this um, box essentially so it tells you how fast the box heats up and how fast the warmer works so if you get for instance a box with 100 watts then you know that it's much faster if you if the volts are higher than 240 then you also know it's much faster and the manufacturing information is also here so i guess you could buy it and you know wherever you are at in the world and they also have their email here on the box and um yeah and they also have a German address and they have, 
I don't know how much of that didn't catch but what I was saying so what comes with a warmer um, the problem that I have with a warmer is that it doesn't really warm up that fast I have to like what so but what I do to combat this is that I switch it on and then I take a shower and then I come back and once I'm done like drying myself off and basically waiting for my body to be completely dry then you know like it's ready for me to use basically so what comes in the box so the box comes with a set of hard wax but when you buy it the first time like when I bought it the first time it came with um, four of these with some ingredient um, steps here at the back on how to use it so the reason why um, I liked it is because it already came with the wax and it also came with the wax sticks you know so if they come in a pack like this they are much more this is just a used pack of course and that's what it comes with so basically everything that you'd need it doesn't need any strips for you to like put over the wax to pull off because it is just um, hard wax and that's what hard wax does you can just put it on and pull it right off and the nice thing about this you could also use it on your face I use it on my face in the summer because I have like little tiny hairs and I want that smooth skin effect so I use it in the summer because I don't wear a lot of makeup in the summer because it's too hot okay okay and what else did I want to say child I decided to freestyle this video because I just feel like when I have a script or like a pre-script I just get very boring and don't know so yeah when I wax myself I use baby powder as well and it doesn't really matter which brand you use as long as you use a baby powder before I didn't use a baby powder because I don't know I would just like use tissue paper and just dry off the skin and that was not so nice and I just felt like it was not giving what it needed to give and then I remembered that my wax lady at the wax salon used to use baby powder on my skin so I used baby powder on the area before I wax it off and some tips that I also want to mention is um, exfoliate your skin with like a glove or whatever. I exfoliate my skin every day because I have like, um, I had a fungal infection here and on my chest. So the dermatologist had recommended that I exfoliate a lot so that the fungus doesn't build up. So I basically just scrub it off in any amount that it would multiply if ever. And then I also make sure to... Um, not I don't moisturize my body at all because I'm a very sweaty person maybe you're also like me so when I do wax myself at that moment when I get out of the shower I don't moisturize my whole body at all even if I would go to the salon I wouldn't moisturize my whole body because I sweat a lot I would start sweating under my boobs and then automatically it would transfer to my armpits and then it's much harder for the um, esthetician to catch the hair and like you know pull it off so yeah that and also um, make sure that you completely dry the skin so try to like completely dry off after you get in, out of the shower like i know you use a towel but it's not dry enough wait for your skin to be completely dry and then you can start waxing also another thing i can say is put paper towels on the area where you want to wax like if you're waxing your intimate area put some uh, put a towel on the floor and then you put paper towels over the towel that covers the surface area of the towel and then you start waxing yourself yeah so that whatever falls onto the paper you can just roll it up and throw it in the trash and you don't ruin your towels like I have before so yes yeah, so with that being said I think now you guys just want to see the results you just want to see the video and maybe you could also just watch the video <laughs> yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial um, and let me know let me know what you think I would honestly say waxing yourself from home is not as painful as it is like also <laughs> another tip I could say is don't wait for your hair to be extremely long like I used to wait for my hair to like grow grow but that's actually more painful than just like waxing after every four weeks so I'm at the stage of waxing every six weeks because my hair doesn't grow back that fast anymore you'll actually see now coming soon that my hair after six weeks is much little than you would expect it to be after six weeks because I've been continuously waxing myself so you I also wax my eyebrows but for that I use like wax strips from Vite I just cut them into straight lines and then I press 
and then I place them across the areas where I want to like basically wax them off so I wax there and then I wax here because my baby hair is connected to my eyebrows and then I just like wax that area but just highlight her so yeah that's what I do in here so after you wax yourself try to use some tea tree oil or vitamin C oil because they have the um, the properties of basically soothing your um, inflamed or red skin and also yeah just exfoliate try not to use like harsh stuff like a toner if you use dye glycosylic or, or toner or whatever the people are using on tiktok for their underarms don't use it immediately the day you wax your underarms also don't have intercourse for 24 hours after you wax your intimate area and don't go to the gym for 24 hours after you wax your intimate area so what i usually do is i do it after i come from the gym i take a shower and then i do it so that the next day i have a rest day and then i'm just like at home and i also don't use any deodorant even though you can use alcohol free deodorant after you get a wax i prefer not to do that because my skin is already like i have hyperpigmentation in under my armpits and my intimate area from years of just using no hair and shaving um utensils and stuff it's just been horrible 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 one star would not recommend so that's why i switched over to waxing because it does also clear up your skin over time for me i feel like it takes much longer because it's like years of damage it looks much better than it did when i actually started waxing the first time and yeah now i've grown really really bad and i'm really comfortable with my underarms and my bikini line i don't feel insecure about it anymore i'm actually really confident with just like being me a purr, purr. so yeah I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Let's get into it. Oh, another thing. <laughs> um, make sure that the wax is hot enough. Like, it shouldn't be too cool. Like, it should be hot enough that it, like, melts nicely into all the creases and crevices of where you want the hair to go into. Because otherwise, it won't catch the hair. Try to get it as warm as your skin can tolerate. And then you put it on like that. Yeah. So that's honestly that's all I want to say. Let's watch. Let's watch. Let's watch. Let's watch Mary. Back. Welcome back. It's me again and I'm just here to basically tell you the very obvious that's taking place in this video. <laughs> and I'm just going to start by saying that it's very important to exfoliate your skin and also to find a soap that really works for you. So I use a moisturizing soap, which is like the Dove range. If I don't use that, I usually use one for like sensitive skin that has um, zero allergens or something like that because I do have sensitive skin. But I also overall would re recommend that you use um, products for sensitive skin because overall they are just much healthier and um, just more friendly than any other product and i didn't find any stock videos of black women exfoliating themselves so i decided to create my own and there goes a very beautiful depiction of my legs and yeah i hope you like that <laughs> next we are going to move on to the products that i'm going to use while waxing myself for today's session they usually change but the only thing that i would say changes is the oil that i use to wax myself so as you can see there the dial is and you move it higher it's also nice that the dots show you exactly the range of temperature and it comes with the wooden sticks as i've said before so i just set everything out on a table and then as you can see the wax was already warming up while i was in the shower so i just stir it to make sure that all the pearls have melted and that the to also test the consistency as you can see it is too runny which means it is very hot because i set it on the highest temperature and then i reduce the heat so one thing i can also say is that the red light goes on once the wax reaches the temperature that you set it on so let's say it was on 290 when you started and then you switch it to 190 it will light up once it reaches 190 so i'm just sitting there 
basically creating the vibe listening to mandla dntc because i just woke up and i was like i want to listen to afro jazz today and he is my go-to at the moment shout out to my sister for putting me onto him by the way so i just took a paper towel and i put it under my armpits at the time because i was walking around just doing some stuff and setting up for this video and i realized that i'm actually sweating a lot so i put the paper towel under there for a few seconds and then yeah get to work so step one is to dry the area and then add some baby oil under baby powder on the area that you would like to wax so i'm wearing my i'm doing whatever bra because <laughs> i feel like it doesn't really matter if i spill stuff on it or if it gets messy because i'm like ah whatever i'm just gonna clean it off later so as you can see i put the paper towel on the other side of my armpit like in the other one because now i'm like the other one needs to dry while i'm busy um waxing this one so there i have the wax and i blow on it because it's still hot but i want it to be as hot as possible because i feel like it's the only way to really make sure that it gets into all the hairs i've been growing my hair for a long time now you can see how much there is over there it's still too warm that's why it's like melting and floating all over the place but i left this here because i just wanted to show you that it's not always perfect even though i've been doing this for a whole year i still do make mistakes but it doesn't matter just make sure you leave like a curve or like a round area at the bottom of your wax strip so that you have something to pull off once the wax cools down so you just wait usually i blow on it a little bit for the stickiness to go away so that i can close my armpit and use my phone or something while i wait for the wax to dry once the wax is dry now it's time for you to master the courage and pull it off so what you can do is you can also place another hand on the other side to basically hold down the skin while you pull it off or you could ask someone else to pull it off for you if you are too scared I mean that's also an option it always works so you take a deep breath and you just rip it off as you can see most of the hair came off there's like almost nothing left and look at how much it was it's insane like <laughs> it was a lot of hair but this is what happens after about eight weeks. so as you can see it's really not a lot like i said previously it's just a little something something but i still need to take it off because once my armpit hair reached the stage i just feel like i sweat way too much and i don't like to use deodorant that much especially if i took a shower at night to go to bed i don't use any deodorant to basically sweat out the toxins of my deal that i was wearing throughout the day and repeat 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 do the same thing as you can see this wax strip or this um wax application this time is much better and i basically did much better than i did in the first one and that's not a problem it don't even matter girl it looks good so you can also just like blow on it again wait for it to cool down as i did on the other side and that's basically all i do child and then i feel it you can feel it once the stickiness is gone it means that it is dry and ready to pull off so i just try and pull a little bit at the ends and then i muster the carriage and i just pull it off again So here I just realized that there were still some hairs as you can see in the curve of my armpits when I close them. So I'm just going to go right back and put it right there in the middle. That's usually what I do at the end because then I'm only getting off the little bit that didn't come off in the first two tries. So you just apply and again do not forget to leave that little curve at the end so that you can have something to pull off when the time comes because... You really don't want to be stuck <laughs> with the wax on your skin. It's not cute. And you also don't want to waste all your efforts and your wax beads for this. So I find this a very affordable alternative, to be honest with you. Initially, to go to the salon every time for this service that I'm doing on myself, which is my armpits and my intimate area, including between my butt cheeks, it costs me 42 euros every month. But since I bought this wax kit, I bought it for 35 euros on Amazon and the wax beads cost me 10 euros, which amounted to, um, I would say 20 euros a month. No, not 20 euros a month. Let's say 12 euros a month because when I first purchased the wax kit, it came with wax pearls on its own. 
so i had that for about i would say three months before i had to start buying my own wax beads and i buy 750 grams worth of wax beads every two months in order to maintain this you know wax situation that i have going on and it cost me at this moment five euros a month to wax my whole body and i also decided to extend it now i'm able to wax my stomach and my face and my eyebrows as i've said before which wasn't possible in the beginning so as you can see here i've gotten everything everything off like i kid you not this is such an efficient way to get this done and you just want to go in with an oil so i used before i used baby oil with some drops of tea tree oil just to help with that inflammation and if you don't have like i used my boyfriend's vitamin c serum right now because i started to try and see if it works better or different and it actually does so i just apply it on both sides at the end so i don't wax and then apply the oil i apply on both sides at the end of um, my wax session basically So now we move to the other side and we do exactly the same thing. I think now you can clearly see the hair and baby powder and everything much better compared to the previous shot. But it still doesn't matter because I at least got the opportunity to get the information through to you. So one thing I do want to mention right now that is very important is the fact that you should do small strips. So especially when it comes to your down there area, your intimate area, do not use strips that are too long and stuff like that because the longer the strip the more you have to pull off and i guarantee you you don't have that strength to pull off an entire string from the front to the back so try to use smaller strips and then you know just piece by piece basically like i've done and also do not go over an area more than three times you can only maximum wax an area three times so you'll see later on in this video that i try to wax over the bottom area one more time because i just felt like there were still some little hairs stuck there but it didn't come off so i just left it because the more you wax the more you irritate the skin because you're technically ripping the hair out of the hair follicles and that is very dangerous okay we don't want to be having red armpits or be on ig warning people <laughs> about waxing yourself at home because of course yes professionals know what they're doing but if you do some research yourself at home you can also you know end up knowing what you're doing for yourself by yourself and you can save some money as well i said before if i could afford the service i would just go to a salon because it's really not on brand <laughs> sitting and waxing myself like this and i don't i didn't even do everything on this day I waxed my armpits and my intimate area on that day and the next day then I waxed my stomach and other parts that I just felt like you know I want the hair to be off but imagine if I had paid someone take me half the time and then obviously everything would be gone in one day but it doesn't matter still saving money and we're being sustainable okay because now everything is going to be reused by one person and I don't have to pay somebody all the time Also, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that this is not as easy as it looks in the beginning because the first time I waxed myself, mama, I remember I called my friend Tuna and I was like, bruh, I don't think I have the courage to pull this off. Like, I just could not. I was like crying and she was like trying to calm me down and she was like, bruh, it's okay, you can do this, you got this. Like, are you going to walk around with wax on your pom pom for the rest of your life? <laughs> I was pressed girl I was pressed but I managed to put it off and then from there it was uphill honestly 
I just had to like remember to take a deep breath and just pull it off as fast as I can and try to use smaller shifts because I also feel like when I was trying to pull off like from a bigger area it was much harder than just like what I'm doing right now so this is just for you to like you can apply this technique on every part of your body basically I just chose my armpits because I don't want to have be reported for waxing my stomach or something like that online so yeah there you go as you can see as I mentioned previously there's still some little hairs left and I was trying to get it off again but the armpits were just too sweaty I guess I just waited too long to start recording this um yeah so I started sweating but ideally you want to just like you know get everything off from the first try but it doesn't matter of course you know try again so I tried to go back in again hoping the baby powder would give me some kind of grip to be able to pull it off but it was an epic fail because <laughs> it came off so easily I didn't even have to like prepare myself to pull it off it was just so bad So beautiful people once you are done you just take your serum put it on your hands um, I don't put anything with a pipette drop directly on the area that I want to apply it because I feel like the germs or whatever from the skin will go into the pipette and then into the whole oil so I just put it on my fingers as you can see from a distance I just drop it on there so maybe that's also a tip for the rest of you maybe that's why you have breakouts and stuff even though you use um, good products because to be honest this is actually bacteria is the biggest form of how we get like irritations on our skin so yeah that's the end of the video take care of yourself see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching bye